Hi, I'm Meg Tucker with Cook with Meg, and today we're in the kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to take a simple cake mix, a boxed cake mix, and take a spin to Cookieville. We're gonna turn a cake mix into cookies. Literally, it takes three ingredients. Are you ready? Let's go. So, first things first, we need a bowl. We need a spatula, my favorite tool in the kitchen, and we wanna have a recipe Although this one is super simple, we literally need a box of cake mix, a half a cup of vegetable oil or melted butter. Ooh, we also need two eggs. I'll be right back with my two large eggs. We are back. We have our ingredients handy. Let's start with the cake mix. This one happens to be cherry chip, delicious, which we're going to turn into cherry chip cookies. Oh, and by the way, I have our oven preheating to 350 degrees. Very standard cookie temp. That into the sink for later. So there's my cake mix. This is really a very cool shortcut. <clears throat> the reason for this is because when you have a boxed cake mix, box of cake mix, you can actually do lots of different things with it. So you can certainly turn it into a cake. You can turn it into cupcakes. You can use different pans and all of the directions are on the very back. So it'll tell you kind of what you need to add, but to make it into cookies, you literally take the cake mix. We're gonna crack two eggs. I'll throw those out after. I love using my sink kind of as the, the catch-all. And I am giving my hands a wipe because raw egg on hands need to wipe up take a minute if you happen to spill anything on your counter take a sec wipe that up and friends one final ingredient which is a half a cup we're going to use today vegetable oil um, but if you have melted butter you can use melted butter um, if you are preferring to use like a coconut oil you can use that you can use margarine so any kind of oil or melted butter a half a cup can I tell you, that's it for ingredients. That's it. Perfect recipe that you can make with the entire family. So we're just gonna get in with our spatula. You can come a little closer and take a real look here into this bowl. It's going to make essentially a cookie dough. Now, what I like to do once I get this smooth enough is pop it into the fridge just for a few minutes just to let it firm up a little bit because you want to think it would have been a cake had we added milk but we're making it cookies so right now it's a little ooey gooey that's sort of the texture we'll let that we'll give that boom off a spatula so really take a minute or two we don't want to over mix it but we definitely want to make sure we don't have any pockets of flour and really a cake mix is kind of all the beautiful things put together so you've got your flour you've got your leaveners so you've got your baking powder you've got your sugars all of that is built into a cake mix which makes it really really easy to turn into either a cake or in today's case cookies so i'm just giving it another little mix just making sure that we've got everything beautifully blended. It smells so good. It's super cherry. Now you can put this in the fridge to firm up a little bit, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get right to making my cookies. So I just have a cookie scoop. I'm going to do like a nice even portion. Now I will actually take a minute and I will put these uh, this cookie sheet into the fridge. I do want it to firm up a little bit, but I kind of like to get my cookies scooped. Now remember they are going to spread a little bit, so you don't want to put too many on the baking sheet. And this is quite a large scoop. Like this basically is about a third of a cup. So it is quite big and it makes pretty big cookies. So I'm only going to do six on my baking sheet. If you're doing a much smaller scoop or maybe you're just using two tablespoons, uh, to kind of scoop it out that way, that totally works. So this will make 
six plus maybe two more, so maybe eight, but these are really big bakery style cookies. Now, the, there's my oven telling me it's all ready for me, but I'm not quite ready. I'm gonna just take this, pop it into the fridge. I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna take this and put it into my 350 degree oven between nine and 11 minutes. All ovens are different. We are going to watch our ovens like a hawk. We don't want these to burn, but we want them to spread out and puff up and become delicious, easy, the easiest cookies you'll ever make. So I'll meet you back here in about a half an hour, which accounts for the time in the fridge plus the time in the oven. Next shot you will see will be the finished delicious cookies. See you in a few minutes. And we are back and just like that, how amazing is this? Look at our pan of cherry chip cookies. Now you can see how large these are. This made six. This is very hot, screeching hot, just took it out of the oven. But I actually baked off my other two and I did these first because I wanted to show you these did not get put in the fridge. These did get put in the fridge. So I would say not a huge amount of difference and check it out. Look how perfect they turned out. They're soft, they're tender. Let's break off a little piece. We need to try it. It's so good. It's so good. It is such a good cookie. It's a cherry chip cookie, not for puppies. And there you have it. So how to take a simple boxed cake mix Add two ingredients, two eggs, half a cup of melted something, whether it's um, oil, obviously already melted, um, or melted butter. Add it to the cake mix, give it a mix, pop it into a 350 oven for nine to 11 minutes. I would say I went more on the 11 minute side of things, but you'll wanna just gauge your oven, take a quick look, make sure you've got uh, a good temperature, and there you have it. It's cookie time. Thanks everyone. For more with me, cookwithmeg.com. Until next time, we are awesome. <laughs> See you next time.